It is ProxyFox, and I'm coming to you not so live from my cell phone because it's what I have for a camera. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, and I'm not intending this to be a vlog. Uh, what I did get, however, is a package in the mail. Look at this. Look at... Well, there's a, it's a mess over here. Hang on. I got this, and I wanted to do an unboxing of it. I haven't opened it yet because I'm too excited, and I want to share it with you guys, and my excitement and everything that is my excitement. So I'm going to try and make this a quick unboxing and all of my stuff. So re ready? We're going to jump into first person mode. Ready? Here we go. Okay, guys. So now that we are ready to do the things with our hands at the ready here, uh, this is my box. And what I got here, <clears throat> I'm going to try and do this. I have a new head rig that I've been working on putting together. So we're going to see how this goes. What I have here is a whole box of packing peanuts. Uh, this, I'm, I, I want to dump them, I just. Okay, so basically what I did is a while back there was a Kickstarter campaign for Bartendo, or uh, where Ink Whiskey and their Bartendo set of things. So I ordered the everything because I can't help myself sometimes. So we're going to start this one piece at a time, and I'm so excited. Oh my god, you don't even know. Like, look at this. Look at this glorious. Look at it. Oh. From Ink Whiskey. The Kegaman Double Pint. Because this science has done miracles here. Uh, let me just go ahead and open this for you. Because the plastic, I'm sure, provides a much unwanted glare. Oh my god. It's a thing of glory. So, obviously, it modeled after Mega Man's Mega Buster with its power-up on the side here. Um, this, I believe they said they intended it to be a single pint, but science works in mysterious ways, and when they were doing the modeling for it, it ended up as a double pint. So, it's a two-pint, two-pint glass designed after the Mega Buster, and I just, I hope you know I'll be drinking everything out of this, all of the things. Set that down. Um... So then there's, don't worry, there's more stuff. So I get in here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go at this one thing at a time. And not spoil everything yet. So here, here we have the Triforce ice mold with peanuts on it. So now I can make my ice cubes look like Triforces, and I'm fill with water, place in freezer, add your favorite beverage, enjoy. Oh my god. I'm gonna... Wow. All of my drinks will be cooled in... I'll, I'll be highly in class. And I'll set that down too. And then I have Kid Licorice, the entertainment flask, which I'm actually super excited to open this and see how it all goes, like how it all functions. Got my little Kickstarter backer logo going on here. Let me go ahead and Get the plastic off of it. Get the plastic. There we go. There we go. We'll throw it in with the packing peanuts because why not make more of a mess of my space? Not the website. Okay, so this is like plastic. Very, very NES cartridge. Very, uh... Yes. Use this to insert... Use this insert to create your own warp funnel. Oh, well, thank you. That'll help me fill the flask. Retro game flask. Pull to open, push and twist to close. Cap can be a choking hazard. So note to self, don't drink the cap. Don't, don't drink, don't drink, you know what, that's it. Don't drink the cap. So I'm just, pop. Ah, it's like a little rubbery cork type deal that actually feels pretty, pretty sturdy. I like it. It doesn't feel like it's going to break off in the flask. And then we got... Hello, hello in there. Oh, okay, it has the Kid Licorice title on the top if I want to store it with all of my other games. Push and twist. Push and twist to get it back. Push and twist. Push and I don't want to... You feel sturdy, but I still worry that I'm going to break you. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look, it's glorious. And I can store this in, like, a pocket 
or something and carry it around and carry on the stereotype that I'm some sort of alcoholic. Not that that's a stereotype, but I really like the design, the art here, the Kid Licorice from Ink Whiskey, Kickstarter, Entertainment Flask. And it says down here, you can put your booze in it. Yes, yes I can. So we've got the that stuff. What else is in here? Like I know in my mind what else is. Wow, that's heavy. Wow, that's heavy. Wow. Okay, so in true first person shooter for holy crap. Seriously, holy crap. Like okay, so we got the capper gun, the bottle opener. Designed off of the NES Duck Hunt uh, zapper gun. And this is just a solid chunk of steel, titanium, some sort of like, you, I don't, you can't feel it in the video, obviously, but just, just wow. Um, let me, let me just go ahead and, no, you know, I'm not going to drop it, but just holy darn, this is solid. This is solid metal. I could bludgeon someone to death with this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I've had enough fun for one day. But basically this, you got your end here. It is a bottle opener. So I can use this to open the bottles that I will then take and pour into my double pint or my kid licorice flask or what have you. You know, assuming that I pour things that come from bottles into such things. But holy wow, just wow. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it, but hopefully, uh, I don't know if you can hear it. I'll, I'll be quiet. Uh, damn! Uh, wow. All right, that's you're going over here. I did not expect that to be so big. Huh? If you didn't make the joke. Oh man, I was I was honestly only expecting one of these, and I got a set of four, so I'm super excited now. Like I'm four times the excitement that I once was. Check it out, guys. Warp shot glasses, so like I can go directly to World 1-8, depending on what I fill these. Did I just say that? I am too tired. World 8-4, eight, 8-1, eight, I don't know, somewhere in the 8th world. Just, holy dang. Like, the packaging is awesome. And these, let me get them out of their holding cell. Fill these warp shot glasses and transport to a new level. It's just, all the puns, guys, all your puns, they're they're glorious. If, if someone at Ink Whiskey happens to be watching this, you guys, you guys, like, I know they don't look like much, I'm, I mean, they look like warp pipes, but, I mean, depending on how much of a critic you are of the custom design of your drinkware, I'm honestly kind of glad that these aren't, like, porcelain or glass or clay or something like, they are sturdy plastic, and I appreciate that, because I can't tell you how many great pieces of drinkware have been accidentally destroyed in the process of dishes or something else and or dropping and I just I feel like this is sturdy and I absolutely appreciate that so I got a set of four of these things and now I need to find three people who are willing to have shots with me and just wow like this is gonna be so awesome at gatherings and game night and when Dark Souls 3 comes out and I inevitably end up playing Drunk Souls and drink myself into a stupor, which, I mean, stay tuned for that because that just sounds like fun shenanigans. I think that is all we have in here. Oh, why did you do that? Yes, that's all we had. So I'm going to go ahead and store my packing peanuts for later play. All in this box here and also to get them off of my floor. Uh, and just, just wow, guys. So, like, I'll, I'll go through this one more time. Kegaman Double Pint. And I like the puns. There's so many puns here. Kegaman Double Pint. Two pints. The Kid Licorice NES Cartridge Flask, which, by the way, if you check out Ink Whiskey and their website, they make more video game NES cartridge flasks. The Kid Licorice one is a Kickstarter backer exclusive but they have other ones. Um, they have Drunk Hunt, and there's just, there's so many great puns. I can't even remember all of them, but definitely worth checking out. 
if if this is the type of thing that you're into and you want to carry it around at parties and be like, guys, check it out. I have this really cool game thing. The Trey Force Ice Mold, so now I can make all of the Legend of Zelda drinks and keep them cool and highly in style. The Four Warp Pipe Shot Glass Set, which is... Ah! Uh, yeah, That's... Okay, I'm done ooing and aahing over that. And the seriously heavy zapper bottle opener, which for some reason comes on a keychain. Like, I'm actually going to put this on a key ring somewhere. God, no, this would rip holes in pockets and set off metal detectors at airports. This is the most... Oh, man. The, I, I, don't, I don't know if I should, like, complain about it or love it. You know what? I love it. I, I really do, because I was expecting this to be something about yay big... This is little, like, oh, it's a funny little bottle opener. You'll use it twice, and you'll accidentally break it. And this is not going to break. This is going to break faces. In the event that I cannot open a bottle with this, you grab it from the blaster end, and you smash the bottle open, because that's how gamers do. Press X to win. That is... That's my motto. I said that once. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this really ridiculous unboxing. I'm probably going to do minimal editing on this because I'm lazy today and all of that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the first person cam review. I hope to be doing more stuff with it later on. And also enjoy the crap out of this gorgeous holiday ugly sweater that I ordered from T Fury. It, it's, it's everything I've ever wanted in a holiday sweater. It's got companion cubes and I've got the Christmas cake being a lie, and I got the the blue and the orange, and oh my god! All right, I'm done. I'm done now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in another first-person unboxing or something else ridiculous I decide to do. So until then, stay awesome, guys, and game on.